There are two main ways to figure out the molecular geometry or shape for N2O. First, we can think about it in terms of valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. And that means that the atoms are going to spread out, those valence shell electrons around them are going to force the atoms to spread out because they repel each other and be as far away as possible. So when we look at the nitrogen and the oxygen on the outside of the N2O structure, you can see that for them to be as far away from each other as possible, they'll be on the ends. And that means it's likely this is going to be a linear structure. We can also use the AXN notation, where A is the central nitrogen, X, that's the number of things attached to it. We have this nitrogen here and the oxygen over here, so two. And N, that's the number of non-bonding electron pairs on the central nitrogen there. And there aren't any, so we can just ignore that. That leaves us with AX2. Now, if you memorize that AX2 is a linear molecule, you're really done there. But you may be able to use a table to look it up. So in our table here, AX2 is actually the first thing on the list. That means it's linear and has bond angles of 180. So the bond angle across here, really, which is just flat, is 180 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry or shape for N2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.